Monet Everett at the Makeup Show 2013. Something amazing has happened. I normally like to do a wrap up of every trade show, but this year I was absolutely honored to have some of the titans in the industry speak to me from amazing hairstylists, amazing makeup artists, and very well known beauty bloggers. Check it out, see what you can learn from them. Learn, grow, expand, subscribe to my channel. Monet Everett, hair and makeup blog .com. Monet Everett here at the Makeup Show 2013, and I have a beauty blogging visionaire that I love to check out, Miss Leanne Farbs. I have been a fan of yours for so Thank you. long. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Leanne, how long have you been running a beauty blog? Seven years. Seven years. That's like when I was back in college and nobody knew about blogging. Right. She was. Yeah. Way ahead yeah. of the curve, way ahead. So what do you like to cover most on your blog? Um, skincare is probably a big one for me because I feel like if you don't have that foundation for your skin, it doesn't matter what you put on top. Okay, there are so many people like me who would love to have a successful blog like you. What would you recommend to us? Um, I would recommend consistency. Um, it doesn't really matter if you blog once or twice and then, you know, you leave it for a month. It's got to be consistent. You have to be able to post and publish on a consistent basis at least once a day in order to get any traction. Otherwise, you're just kind of lost in the clutter. There are so many beauty blogs right now. Started out like maybe 20 beauty blogs and now there's like 2,000. So there's a lot of uh, clutter and saturation right now. So you have to make yourself stand apart and you know, publish consistently in order to break through that clutter. And clearly, Ms. Farbs knows what she's talking about. She had turned out this entire venue. I was able to steal her for just a moment. So she's so busy. Let me ask one last question. Okay. What are you most proud of? And it can be professional or personal. Um, well, it's, those are two separate things. Give me okay. 10 answers. I'll listen all day. <laughs> professional would be creating my shadow for Mac um, and creating cocktails and couture. And personal would be my son. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Monet Everett here at the Makeup Show 2013, and we are being graced by Ty Alexander. She is an amazing beauty blogger. Want to say hi? Hi. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> See, you should know her, but if you don't, I'm going to let you know. She runs Gorgeous and Gray, and she's a contributor for Hello Beautiful. So, Ty, how long have you been blogging? Uh, I've been blogging about three years now, um, professionally, maybe two. And then I just recently started with Hello Beautiful in August. So I haven't been there quite a year. Three years, she's clearly damn good if she's as popular as she has been lately. So there are so many people out here like myself who would love to have an even more popular blog. What would you recommend? Um, as we said on the panel today, it's really about creating an authentic space, whether it's via your Twitter, your Instagram, your blog. Like People want to know who you are and why they should trust you. So you really have to think about what it is you want to blog about, whether it's beauty, fashion, you know, find your niche. Doesn't mean that you can't talk about other topics, but someone should be able to go and say, oh, I know money does hair and beauty. I know Ty talks about, you know, life and, and beauty or whatever. So it's just really about just being who you are. I think blogging is kind of my outlet to kind of express myself, how I like beauty, how I do my makeup, how I do my hair. You know, it, it's just what on my blog or even how I write, it's who I am and what I really like. You'll never get anything from me that I don't believe in or I don't love. Wonderful. So you can answer this in as many answers as you like. What are you most proud of? It can be personal, professional, anything. It can be one answer or 12. <laughs> you know, my, my mother recently passed, um, and I'm most proud that, it's okay, I get the same thing, but I'm most proud that she was able to, I quit my job last August. I quit my job on a Tuesday, and I had a job with Hello Beautiful that next Friday. Get it. So when I tell you God is real, God is real. <laughs> So I'm most proud that I was able to have the courage and really say, you know what, this isn't what I want to do and I want to write full time and I stepped out on that little bit of faith that I had at the moment and I, I did it. And that part I'm most proud of. So. Well, Miss Ty is super busy. People are calling her to go out to eat because they just turned out a fam fabulous panel here at the Makeup Show. So I'm going to let her go. Say bye. How do you feel about those of us in YouTube and, and beauty bloggers? I'm a professional artist like yourself. Um, and a lot of people have issues with it, so I'm just interested to know what are your feelings? I mean, how could you have an issue with somebody who's talented? If you know how to do it and you want to share it, then God bless you. Like, 
I, I mean, I don't have much to say about it. It's pretty much they can say the same thing about me. You know, I didn't have any formal training, but I just wanted to share my information, and that's all YouTube is. It's a way just to share information and share what you know. So, yeah, God bless. I mean, everybody has their own path and their own place in this industry. And I think there's space um, for everyone and everyone is necessary. It's because of people on YouTube that um, other artists learn and do great things. So I think we're all in it together. We're just participating in the business in a different way. So. Well, that your answer really inspired me because it, it, it can be hurtful to hear other artists say, oh, you shouldn't be on YouTube, but if you have that skill and you're able to, sure, yeah. then wonderful. And I'm also happy to hear you say that there is room for everyone. And I absolutely, absolutely, without question. And I thank you so much for your time. I know you're tired, you worked hard, and you made, you know, a lot of money because everybody loves you here anyway. at this trade show. So thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So thank say bye. Monet Everett here at the Makeup Show 2013 and I was able to literally fight my way in to see Tatiana as you know her beat face honey say hey girl hey girl and <laughs> she is at the absolute top of her game so I'm happy that she was able to let me interview her what do you feel as to your success as a popular YouTube vlogger and she be on Instagram stay straight stunning I think the most important thing is to be honest and follow your passion do what you love and uh, keep it, keep it real with the people. That's my best advice. Be yourself. Be yourself. Is good enough. Yourself is good enough. And B Face Honey has done so many celebrities and so many different things in this past two months. How do you feel about that? I feel elated about that. I'm, I'm surprised, but not exactly surprised. I always knew it would happen. I'm so glad that it's happening now. I just feel blessed. What strategies do you have for people who really want to take YouTube by storm? Uh, I, I would say my success on YouTube has a lot to do with piggybacking on popular music videos. That's some real advice. If Beyonce comes out with a video, it don't matter if she doesn't have any eyeshadow on, make it look like Beyonce's makeup. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Okay, so my last question, because Lord, I don't want these girls to jump me because they want their photos. My last question for you are, what are some things that you're most proud of? They can be professionally or personally. I'm most proud of my Michael Jackson signed CD. I'm most proud that my mommy and daddy are still in love and they're still married. I'm most proud that I have amazing relationships and friendships. And I'm most proud that I can give my success to the people who watch me and support me. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Let me. Thank you, Leanne. You're welcome. Get a love. Thank you.